everyone, welcome to this video. I have some exciting things I want to share. There are some new beauty products and some, I'll say, pretty interesting books and some magazines. Um, so I'll get right into it. Um, first, I'll go with cosmetics. Um, let's see, it's so exciting. Which one should I share first? Okay, so put them in this baggie. Okay. Okay, so I've been getting into the natural type of products. Um, found I wasn't going like for natural, but I just found some new things at the drugstore and some totally amazing things that caught my eye. So um, to start off, I got. Da, 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 da. Um, buy one get one 75% off um, so I got the butter bronzer the Maru Maru Muru butter bronzer in I got both I got light bronze and bronze so the light bronze um, of course it's brighter than the darker bronze um, they almost look the same but I noticed in the store the bronzers, um, of course, a little bit darker. I haven't tried it yet, but oh my god, I could smell from outside the packaging. Oh, so what led me to these products was I really wanted some smell, like um, kind of. It's one of those beauty things, like um, kind of say like. Um, you're home alone and you just want to feel cheered up, but there's no one them to cheer you up. Um, I wanted something like that in a beauty product, so I found some drugstore, so I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, these are the Maru, Maru Butter Bronzers. They smell like coconuts. So I bought these because I really wanted a beauty product with some scents. Um, I have the Argon Beauty, some Argon Beauty products like the BB Cream and Bronzer and Blush. And I was wearing those, but I thought I really need something more to cheer up my day, cheer me up in the morning, get me going. So, got some of these. But a bronzers. Put those right there. And of course, I picked up. Um, the Physician's Formula Argon Wear Translucent Powder, Translucent Face Powder, and it came with a free blush. Um, I've worn this the last couple days. I'm not wearing any blush today. Um, and I picked up the Argon Coconut Primer. So it's an Argon Wear 2-in-1 Argon Oil and Coconut Water Primer. Spray on mist, face, body, hair, nails. Of course, I'd spray it on my face. Um, it's supposed to be a moisturizer, toner, primer, brightener, protector, and treatment. And it's 100% pure argon oil. I used the clear argon oil the other day. Um, I used it during the day. I put it on my temples. And, oh, my God, it wasn't oily. It was like jojoba oil, which, which helps to almost... Um, control the oil on the face um, so it didn't feel oily but I put it on the non the parts of my face that don't get very oily so um, so yeah but overall it was nice and I really liked the sense of the argon um, product so I picked up the argon wear powder and I have to admit it has a lot more smell than the bronzer. The blush doesn't have as much smell as the translucent face powder. But it's nice. It's one of those things that will, I want to say, cheer me up in the morning, I guess. Keep my spirit, keep me, keep my spirits lifted during the day. You know, keep my heart warm, that type of thing. Um, I read on the ingredients that the argon and coconut water, um, it has fragrance and it has radish root ferment. So I, my intention on getting this was 
a fragrance and a heart beautifier, I guess. Um, I wanted something that would make my face, face feel good and to have smell, of course. Um, just a lovely thing to try, so I picked these up. Okay. Da, da, da. On to Maybelline. Buy one, get one half off. Wait, yeah, buy one, get one half off, and I got to buy by themselves. Um, so I believe for the deal, buy one, get one half off, I got this Maybelline New York Master Precise Skinny Eyeliner in the shade Defining Black. And I picked up this Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour in the shade Pink Parfait. I have Barely Beige. I love it. I love it to oodles. Um, and I picked up this Pink Parfait because I really wanted like a pink, pinkish, reddish eyeshadow. Um, but I found this pink. So I love it. And my other two Maybelline products. Um, this is a Maybelline Color Sensational Berry Blissful. I'll open it for you. Um, it just looks like this. Nice berry shade. Love berries to oodles. Um, and um, this is the Maybelline New York Master Precise Curvy in the shade black. Um, I'm excited to try this one. Um, it's supposed to have like an oval shape applicator and it's a liquid liner. Um, I've been wearing um, the Physicians Formula Hexi Booster Liner because it has scents to it. Um, but I picked up this one. I wanted to try it. It looked beautiful on the models and I thought I want to be pretty just like them. So got this one. And. I picked up the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Lip Color um, in the shade Naturalist 545. And da -da 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 -da, I got these. Um, this is from Burt's Bees. Um, I picked this one up yesterday. This is the Burt's Bees Honey Moisturizing Lip Balm. I'm super excited to try this. Um, I've been like experiencing a little bit of a sore throat um, today and yesterday and a little bit the day before um, so I wanted something soothing and I've really wanted um, to try to detox my system um, to get this cold out of my body so I got this honey one um, I just thought it would be really sweet on the lips but anyways um, this is the Burt's Bees BB cream with noni extract and light. Um, I tried some samples. They're super amazing. Um, I love how this product, it makes my skin um, feel firm and lifted and tight. And it's just like, like my face is hugging my face. Like feels like a, it's, it lifts the skin um, kind of like it feels like it's hugging my my face is hugging my skull I guess it's pretty cool um, <laughs> um, but yeah I just look like this and da, 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 da. Um, in case you're wondering the lip color I'm wearing on my lips is this Burt's Bees um, lip crayon in Niagara Overlook and I'm wearing the Physicians Formula Organic Wear CC Cream in light and a little bit of the Burt's Bees BB Cream. Alrighty. So, let me try to get these back in the bag as quickly as I can. So, I picked up some wonderful books and magazines. And I would love to share them. So, let me get right into it. I picked this up yesterday. Um in my local Rite Aid. It's just um, an, a coloring book, like an adult coloring book or a coloring book for all ages. 
Um, it's called Harvest Home, color, Coloring to Warm Your Heart and Soul. And I thought it would be perfect for the fall and winter season or any year round that my heart wants a dose of the holiday or fall season which is such a pleasant time of the year. My favorite. I love it too. Also, oh, there's a lovely cat. There's some cat pictures in here, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's a rooster. Oh, this is so cute. Um, oh, jack-o'-lantern. And there's a lot of food pictures in here, like preserving and stuff, canning, preserving. Okay, so let me pull my books over here and let me get into them okay so these are them let me show them to you okay I'll go with magazines okay I'll go with this this is a glamour I got this for a wonderful vegan recipe and some beauty inspiration um, just you know something to look at if I'm or at home or need some motivation or something. Um, this is a vegan health and fitness magazine, came in the mail. Um, okay, on to my books. Okay, so I found a used bookstore and I saw these super awesome books. So I'll get into those in a minute. Um, this is a cook vegan Plant Power for the Planet, founded at Barnes & Noble. This is the early summer edition. Oh, I just love it to oodles. Oh, I saw it at the bookstore the other week and the whole, of, um, the other weekend and for the whole next week, I was like, oh my gosh, I was going crazy over this book. So I picked it up the next weekend. I love it to oodles, I love this magazine. Oh, love to. Okay, up next, um, let's see. Okay, I think these books are intended for children, um, but I got them because sometimes, you know, when we're lazy, we can't really get into the kitchen, so the kitchen to cook. So I picked up um, some of these books just to kind of look at, get motivations, just to get me motivated into the cook into the kitchen to cook you know to express our heart to express our mind and through the culinary world so um i picked up these books um a lot of them have like um step by step picture instructions like this so it would be really easy just to study a recipe and think to myself okay i can do this this is something i can do so, uh, this is the Pretend Soup and Other Real Recipes by the author of Moosewood Cookbook. Molly Katzen and Ann Henderson. So, here's the first one. And here's another one by the same author um, of Pretend Soup and Moosewood Cookbook. And it's titled Salad People and More Real Recipes. Um, I thought this would be a totally amazing um, vegan vegetarian option. I can um, recipes, and I can always substitute um, ingredients to make them gluten free and vegan and vegetarian. And once again, there's um, picture directions, picture tutorials. Um, so that's a nice one. Miso almond dipping sauce. So um, I thought it would just provide some really nice motivation to get into the kitchen and think, okay, I can cook, I can do this. Okay, so I thought they'd be really great to have on my bookshelf. And here's some more. This is Childlike Cookbook. Um, it doesn't seem too childlike. Uh, there's some reading material. This book is totally awesome because it it's kind of like reading a cooking show um, you know and cooking shows have stories and then the cooking show or the cook shares a story while she's cooking or talks about the food and cooks or something like that it's just it seemed like a totally amazing book like 
reading a cooking show and it has totally amazing recipes and once again I can always just um, substitute for gluten free and vegan options um, vegan vegetarian options um, I love this one so this is the title Child Life Cookbook by Clara Ingram Judson oh, love that one it's like it's like a cooking cooking shows in a book. It's totally amazing. Um, so here are oh my god, I left one downstairs. If you can believe it, um, give me one sec. I'll go get it. Oh my god, everybody be careful. <laughs> Why is it like that? Ah. Okay, I'll share these two. Um, these are two Hans Anderson's fairy tales. They're basically the same book. The only difference is the introduction. Uh, but I loved both, so I got those. Um and they have wonderful stories. Let's see. Some of them. The Snow Queen, Ugly Duckling, The Princess and the Pea, Thumbelina. Um, the Happy Family. The Goblin at the Grocers. So that's fun. Um, so these two, they have the same cover, um, I think they might be different editions, they're Anderson's Fairy Tales, and let me check for you to see, let's see, oh, they're the same books, yep. They just have different um, blue covers on the back and illustrated pictures. Very lovely. And um, that one's in color and this is in color. So I thought it would be really nice to support, um, I think it's a used bookstore. It, um, I thought those books would be a great way to help um, recycle some books. Um, so yeah, so hope you loved um, what I shared um, and my beauty products. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.